What's up, people? It's your girl, Adiola. So for weeks now, my people, I've tried not to talk about Biafra simply because there is nothing I can say. So long as I'm not evil, some people have already made up their mind that all Yoruba people are bad. All Hausa people are bad. They say, oh, she's Yoruba. What does she know? Eh? Which is true, by the way. I tell you guys every week that I don't know anything. Oh, no, be so. And after episode 174, where I talked about Radio Biafra, the most common message that I get is, oh, you this Yoruba Ashewo. Ashewo means prostitute so if you follow me on facebook by the way by now you should know that there's a set of people that call me a prostitute every time i post anything it doesn't even matter what i post <laughs> by the way if you are not following me on facebook what is that about eh? and twitter and instagram I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah, get your ass together let me give you one minute everybody follow follow the ladder follow the ladder follow the ladder to ever <laughs> Have you clicked follow? <laughs> anyway, so um, those people would call me a prostitute, but they keep coming back to read whatever I share on my wall. Now I get worried if I don't see their comments because it means they are here to read what I posted and I want them to read. So when I see them write you this Ashawa prostitute, I said yes, they read my comments. <laughs> anyway, I've tried not to talk about Biafra, but for the last several weeks, most of the emails that I've been getting has been, how come you didn't talk about Biafra? Adiola, didn't you hear that the director was arrested? Is Buari sponsoring your show? That's why you don't talk about this. So here I am <laughs> to share my opinion. But before I share my opinion, I like to say that as far as I'm concerned, there is no difference between Hausa, Igbo, and Yoruba. The only difference is language and culture, which can be learned. No one chose to be Igbo. Nobody chose to be Yoruba. Nobody before they were born said, hello, what? I want to be Igbo. When you born me, make me a Biafra. No, it just happened. You were just born in a certain area. So the accident of where you were born shouldn't be a dividing factor for Nigeria. Yeah. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm not making sense. We're all human beings. That's all I'm trying to say. And we all have the same color of blood. And again, I don't think that it's right that about 3 million people were killed during the civil war. And yes, I'm aware that people died on both sides as well. I've talked about this in episode 174. Or you can just Google Adiola Biafra. It will come up. So the director of Radio Biafra, Mr. Nam Dikanu, was arrested in Nigeria. And thousands of people have been protesting on his behalf. In fact, there was a million man match last Friday. And sadly, Bad enough, people have died during the protest. Even before the Million Man March, people have died. So yes, many people are willing to lay down their lives for this cause, for the Biafran cause, which is to secede from Nigeria and make Biafra a country. So this is what I think. And again, it's my opinion. You're entitled to yours. I don't think that Nigeria should be divided. I don't think that Nigeria should separate. However, if people want to separate, you can't force them to stay. It's a free world. So I have no problem whatsoever with the Biafran movement. But I do have a problem with the director, Namdi Kano, and I have a problem with the Nigerian government. Let's talk about the Nigerian government first. First of all, I don't like how the government has handled this issue. They've not been transparent in how they've been handling Namdi's case. Why was he arrested? And I know that he made a lot of threats, which we'll come back to. But where is the official statement released by the Nigerian government? about why he was arrested and details of his bail or or court case or whatever what exactly is going on we don't know who is speaking for the nigerian government on this case all we hear is the biafran side we don't hear from the nigerian government why the silence biafran said that the man has fulfilled all conditions for bail that the nigerian government has refused to release him is this true nigerian government in short the government has not been transparent on this matter not only that why are policemen killing protesters why what like for you <laughs> Oh, make me upset. If they break the law, arrest them. Take them to court or something. Don't shoot people for protesting. Is it not a democracy? It's a free world. People can protest anything. I can protest the fact that you guys are here to make me your first lady. Yes, because I have a lot of things to fix in Nigeria. It's like inviting another civil war. What is wrong with these people? And stop denying that you killed protesters. I've been reading some news that policemen are saying they didn't kill protesters. So that is it with the Nigerian government. Now move closer because I have a number of issues with the director so you understand or maybe I should say questions because I'm also looking for answers hopefully we'll dialogue instead of fighting each other especially in that comment section I can already see some of the comments ah, 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 
Chen Wo, Chen Wo, pay attention. Just listen to what I have to say first. Eh? Before you write that, I share with your girl. Anyway, so my first question for Unamde is, as a leader, exactly what official steps have you taken? Have you written an official letter to the government that you want to secede and the government said no? Who exactly have you been corresponding with in the Nigerian government? Who said no? Who said you cannot have your own country? Because I I was hoping I would see something like that before we resort to violence. But as it is, the guy is asking for guns to kill people. And I'm like, why are we talking about guns? We need guns and we need bullets. Yeah, that was him at a World Igbo conference in California. I don't understand that. If you want to divorce somebody, not be say you will go to court and file for divorce. Why guns? Eh? And why did he say that people in America are the ones to buy the guns? I heard him saying that the people in UK don't have anything. Is this true? So we need guns and we need bullets. And those of you in America will give it to us. If not those of you in America, who's going to do it? Is it those of us in Europe? We don't have anything. Uh -huh. So those of you that live in UK, you don't have anything. It is the Igbos in America that have money. Okay, I hear you. Also, I would like to ask him why he's been instigating violence. One time like this, he said that people should start burning churches in Igbo land, churches that are owned by Yoruba people. I'm like, why the violence? And not only that, here in the US, this is what he said. On the 10th second of this month, something will happen. It's called the Blood Moon. Most of you don't know that in 1967, before the war started, there was a Blood Moon as well. Are you aware of that? It comes once in a while. There was blood moon in 67. There will be blood moon this year. Why? Why? My brother, why? Why? Eh? Why? How do you say why in Igbo language? Again, okay, why? Why? Because the Rwandan genocide that killed about 800,000 people. You know that radio was also used as propaganda to instigate the violence. Is he trying to start another genocide? Then I saw the video released by his ex-girlfriend, that is Choma Amarilis. This woman raised some pressing issues about the integrity of Namdi. But instead of addressing the issues that she raised, a lot of people are calling her a prostitute. Again, when I see something like that, it gets my attention. <laughs> they said that she's upset that Namdi did not marry her. Now, it gets my attention because, you know, they call me a prostitute. Too. I said she must be saying something that is too much for them to deal with. Apparently when some Nigerian men cannot take the truth coming from a woman, their easiest excuse is to call her a harlot. <laughs> I'm used to that. But if people are willing to die for this man, the director, I think it's proper to look at some of the issues raised by this woman. First of all, she said that Namde is not accountable to anybody regarding the money donated to Radio Biafra. Is this true? One person is the leader, is the director is the financial consultant, is the money holder. Let's just call it money holder. One person is in control of the money. Okay, so if that is true, I have a problem with it because I know that Radio Biafra solicits for money. Uh, on their website, they take all currencies and people are donating. In fact, I heard that there was a time that the director asked for $8 million to launch the attack against Nigeria. According to him in 2014, he needed $8 million. Um, dollars to start the, the the initial whatever that needed to happen in nigeria so how do we know that all the money that he's been raising were used justly if there is no accountability again a lot of people will abuse me for talking about this but if you've donated your hard-earned money if you are like me working day and night night and day are you not concerned in finding out what your money is being used for where are the weapons that he promised to buy has he used this money to better the lives of people in Igbo land apparently he promised to start a tv station where is it again i'm raising these issues because i want answers uh so if you have answers, please don't hesitate because I can't imagine that he's living large in UK at the expense of donors. Now, the lady also pointed out that Ojuku in 1957 spent his father's money. Um, I know that he spent millions of pounds, but she said he spent like $250 million. Ojuku spent um, $250 million of his parents, uh, of his dad's money. Is this true? In 1957? Like I said though, I really don't know anything. The other thing is, is it true that the director, Unamdi, is a dual citizen and he's still traveling with his Nigerian passport? Unamdi has dual citizenship. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Doesn't he call Nigeria a zoo? So he's carrying the passport of a zoo? Eh? Meanwhile, some of his followers are tearing their Nigerian passport on YouTube. The country on Nigeria, country is big. Country is any woman up in America. Global woman nearly. 
this is it i refuse to be associated with anything anything called nigeria so i personally believe that this guy tore an expired passport i don't believe that he would tear his legitimate passport but i didn't expect the director to have a nigerian passport which he calls the zoo and i also don't expect him to live in the uk because he's always abusing uk for making Igbo land a part of nigeria you know the colonial masters yet he's living there and he probably has a uk passport as well he travels on a british passport so it to me if I'm traveling on an American passport and I'm telling somebody in Nigeria to be ready or something or to go out on the street to demonstrate, I have to at least tell them the whole truth. So I'm a little bit confused, you know, you're not really walking the talk. And then this lady said something that surprised me. For a long time, I've had Namdi on Radio Biafra talk about how 88 countries are backing Biafra as well as the United Nations. But this is what she said. What it means to be in 88 countries, it's not really 88 countries, but that's besides the point. But in 88 countries, there is at least a group of people, or maybe one person, who has registered IPOP. has nothing to do with the nation supporting the movement. I see, I see. So they have members in those countries. It's not as if the government of those countries are backing them up. Is this true? Because a lot of people are getting themselves in trouble thinking that 88 countries will come and defend them and build them out. They thought that the United Nations would rescue them. In fact, when he himself was arrested, I personally was expecting the UN and 88 countries to come to his rescue. I didn't hear anything. I was a little bit surprised by that because okay never mind so not only that the protesters that have been arrested exactly what did he do to get them out even before he was arrested according to this lady it's also a lie when he says that Ijo people are behind him the niger deltans and so on and so forth so it's either she's lying or unamde is lying again me, I'm just looking for answers. If you have one, please write it in the comments. Her last statement is exactly my first point. So let's ask, ask us a separate question. Who did we ask? Who has IPOP or Radio Biafra contacted in the Nigerian government and said, we want to be free and they said, you cannot be free? Yeah, exactly who have they contacted to be free? Who is telling them they cannot have their own country? Why are they now instigating violence? This is not a laughing matter because a lot of people will call Radio Biafra from Nigeria. They will tell uh, the director they, they, they already have a gun hidden. They're just waiting for his signal. A lot of people are willing to give their lives. People are ready to die because of this. So we need to know what we are dying for. If any of these issues that this lady raised are not true and you have evidence, please let me know and we will talk about it. Let's talk about the issues raised instead of calling her a prostitute and let the Nigerian government be more transparent about this matter. By the way, I saw this video of uh, Ojuku basically saying that nobody should try to start another Biafra-Nigeria war. I led proudly the first one. I don't think a second one is necessary. We should have learned from that first one. Otherwise, the dead would have been to no avail. I honestly don't think the man would be happy with what some people are doing now. Eh? Until then though, I want Nigeria to remain one. I want to continue to eat my unseu and unkobi. I don't want to import it from any other country. I want to, to buy it from Nigeria with a Nigerian currency. Please, my Igbo people, let me continue to eat my unseu with peace. But you guys know I don't need any too. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.